All right, good morning, you guys. It's Sergeant Peoples with the Atlanta Fire Department again. I had Atlanta International Airport. We're gonna go over uh, how to um, fluff your Purple K or dry chemical powder on a Rosenbauer 6x6 Panther, all right? I know I did the previous video on how to shoot it and then how to blow it down, but every, every two to three months, you have a shot purple K, haven't did anything to the truck dealing with that system, you need to fluff it, all right? And to do that, it's no mess, all right, it's no mess. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. It's real quick and easy. Every two or three months, you're driving the truck, you need to check with the other driver to see if they've done it. If not, then you need to do it, all right? So starting off in the morning when you're doing your check off, it's been three to four months that you haven't done it, whatever, all right? So the first thing you're gonna do to, to fluff it is come on the side and you're gonna turn off your nitrogen bottle, all right? So you turn off your nitrogen bottle, which we're about to do right now. All right, the nitrogen bottle is now off, all right? Now we're gonna switch and go to the other side. All right, so we're here on the other side of the truck. One thing I did forget to mention though, before you start it, make sure you turn the, uh, your power on on your truck. You don't have to start it, but make sure you got power to the truck. All right, so now the bottle is off. So what we're doing, I'm gonna explain exactly what we're doing. So we just turned the, the nitrogen bottle off. So now, but there's still nitrogen in the system, in the lines, right? So that's the, what we're gonna use. That's the pressure we're gonna use to shoot pressure inside the tank. It's like a, a shot of pressure that's gonna fluff it. All right, we're just using the pressure in the line, so that's why we turned off the bottle. So, when you come on this side, the first thing you need to do is come right here to your dry chemical valve, all right? You're gonna pull the pin, it's normally open, you're gonna close it, all right? So now I just closed dry chemical from going anywhere, all right? My um, purge valve and my charge valve, I'm gonna leave them exactly where they are. The charge valve is normally open, which it is right now, the purge valve is normally closed, which it is right now. All right, now, all I'm gonna do next is turn on the purple cake, turn on the system, all right? So you have to hold this down, and I'm about to do it. You heard that? So what just happened was it used a residual pressure in the line and just shot a shot of nitrogen into the vessel right here, all right? And it just flipped it, all right? So you don't have to pop the cap, anything. Now that I've done that, I've put a little pressure on this pressure gauge, right? So now it, the system has been fluffed. So what I need to do now is make sure I get all the pressure off this pressure gauge, right? It's very little, all right, because we got the nitrogen bottle closed. Now if the nitrogen bottle had been open, then you know the whole system would have been pressurized. All right, so now to get that pressure out, I need to do is open the purge valve right here, all right, which is normally closed. Pull the pin, open up my purge valve, all right. Charge valve still open, now my purge valve is, is open, all right. I didn't test the dry chemical, so I'm gonna come over here, take my hand line out, right. My purple K is already on, I gotta turn on my hose reel, all right. Now it's on. So this is very important right here, very, very important, all right. You're gonna crack this very, very slowly, all right? You're gonna crack it, and like I said, until you get the, the pressure, the pressure starts dropping right here on your gauge, all right? So you just wanna open it real slow. If you open it too fast, you'll see dry powder coming out, and you don't want that. And you're not gonna open it all the way just until you hear it starts hissing, which is right there, all right? You, I don't know if you can pick the camera can pick that up or whatnot, but it's just hissing a little bit. So you're just gonna let this hang. Let that hang until you see it. It'll, it'll stop hissing and the pressure will be all the way out. It only puts like maybe three to five pounds of pressure into the tank. All right, but like I said, you don't wanna ride around with that pressure rise and, um, and then that'll be it after we do that. I'll come back to the, to the video once all the pressure is out. All right. So the pressure, there's no more hissing coming out of the knob. It stopped. So we got all the pressure out the tank. Now we can just close this up. So let's close, put your, put your uh, hose back up. All right, 
Now that I've put my holes up, close the door now. All right, this is very important. After you close, after you close the valve on the on nozzle, your next step is to come here and turn off your hose reel and turn off your purple cape. All right, do not forget this step. Because if you forget this step, when you turn your bottle back on, you're gonna charge that whole tank again and you do not want to do that, all right? And you're gonna be back here for the next 30 minutes trying to get the pressure out of that tank. All right, so turn off your hose reel, all right? Turn off the purple case, all right? It's off, all right? So now the next step in the process after you turn those off is come back up here. You know, we didn't mess with the charge valve, so the purge valve is open, it's normally closed. We're gonna close it, put it back in the normal position, close it. So the purge valve is closed, all right? Now, this dry chemical valve is gonna be the last thing to do. So the next step after we close the purge valve is go back over here and turn back on our nitrogen bottle. All right, so now we're gonna turn back on the nitrogen bottle. And open it back up. Slowly. All right. All right, it's back open. Now we'll go back to the other side and turn off the dry chemical valve. All right, back on the other side now. So we're gonna put the dry chemical valve back in the normally open position. All right, and this is your last step. And then put the pin in. All right, now you just fluffed your system. All right, no mess, all right? No mess at all. It takes about, at the most, at the most, maybe 20, 30 minutes to do, okay? So that will conclude the video. I'm Sergeant Peoples. This is fluffing the Rosenbauer Panther 6x6. Well, I'll let you later. We out.